This is part two in our series of six videos that are going to try and explain six different methods used by home builders to support walls through some type of a floor system. Again, the soil is here. Let's go ahead and remove it. There are the footings, and you can see right here, this one actually has a footing. The load will transfer directly down in a situation like this. There'll be very little of the load transferred to the sides. And of course, you're gonna need a footing. You're gonna need something to support the distributed load, or I should say as close to equally distributed load as you possibly can. Without the footing here, you could end up with uh, sags in the floor. And I've seen that plenty of times, especially in wood floors where someone goes in and they add a, add a wall to something and there's nothing under it to support it. So, you know, they might be re doing some remodeling. They add a wall upstairs or some type of a load. They And it's not distributed equally or it's um, just too much weight. And then, of course, the floor will sag and the foundation will sag also. I've seen that a lot, a lot more with wood than you do with concrete. But I have seen it before with concrete. Take another spin around here. Back of it, there you go. Wall again, transferring down to the footing. And again, these are just a few different methods. There are plenty of other methods used by builders. I'm just trying to cover a few of them here to give you a general idea. And a lot of times you're gonna have blocks in between the joists to keep the joists from moving, twisting, bowing, something like that. Uh, I mean, if you think about it, a joist is gonna be nice when it's nice and straight. When it's, when it's bowed, it's straight at one end and this thing here has got a three inch bow in it. It's not gonna be doing its job as effectively. So that is it. That's it for another way. You can always build a wall under a wall, but do not forget it's going to need a footing. It's going to need some, some support. Without the footing, you're going to have a problem. Again, this is a common remodeler's mistake. I see it a lot. Um, someone just goes in and builds a wall and they figure that it's a concrete um, foundation that it'll support the load. And uh, it might not all the time, depending upon how much weight you have on there. So I, and again, I've worked with, I've seen, worked with six inch footings, six inches deep, and I've worked with 24 inch footings that are 24 inches deep, 12 inches wide. And the ones that are 24 inches might wide or deep might be a little overkill, but the ones that are six inches usually end up having problems with them. Even the footings sometimes that are 12 inches deep usually end up having footing. So it's not like you can just say, hey, I'm going to build a wall. I got a lot of weight that's going to be sitting on top of this wall. I'm remodeling the roof. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a 12 by 12 footing in here. Without a structural engineer, you're just guessing. And again, you could always overkill it. Hey, I'm not going to get a structural engineer, but I'm going to put a 24-inch uh, footing in there. Uh, 24 by 24. I'm going to make sure it's nice and sturdy. I'm going to put uh, you know 50 pounds of rebar in there, and I'm good. Knock yourself out. Um, you know that would de definitely be, be better than not putting a footing in at all, or putting a, a footing that's not going to carry the load. But this is really where the benefits of a structural engineer come in. And uh, like I said, I don't suggest doing any remodeling without a structural engineer, especially if you're not familiar with construction. So anyway, that's it for this video. Off to the next one. Go to the website for more videos on walls and engineering. I will also have a complete list of the videos in this series along with other videos that I, I have already made video.gregvan.com structural engineering or go to the gregvan.com website any one of them and look for the video box in the upper left hand corner once you get to the video website click on the structural engineering link and you should be good to go you should be where you need to be